Globalization has made it very easy for music to travel across countries and cross boundaries. You can find Latin music, African music, K-pop everywhere in the world, and the listeners are very different. So if the music industry is becoming even more relevant nowadays to identify target audiences in local markets and understand how to communicate with them, how to engage with them, what makes them tick. Localities, we've been helping a lot of brands doing that, from UNICEF to Van Gogh Museum to uh, Heineken or Unilever. Indeed, they all share the same problem. And uh, the World Localities tool, um, by ha collecting data of more than 250,000 respondents, if we plan a custom journey, in the case of music, might be relevant to have a look at uh, a very um, up-to-date uh, problem, such as who are the listeners of uh, streaming um, music. So we can have a look, for instance, at the Generation Z, which are uh, by far the largest users uh, of streaming uh, tools. So we can pick uh, uh, the respondents that are between 18 and 24 years old, both in their target and reference audiences. And then we can um, compare two markets. For instance, uh, we can have a look at Latin America as the fastest growing market when it comes to music industry. And we can pick up Brazil as a representative for this and compare uh, the results against the US, the biggest market already existing when it comes to uh, music industry. And now we're ready to start a journey that we can call Brazil versus US. In a few seconds, we will have the results and we will be able to compare the uh, Brazilian uh, young people against the American ones. Uh, to understand the culture, the trends are definitely an important tool. Data tells us that uh, community and family are very important among the young Brazilians. Uh, they're also really attracted by knowing the brand origin. They want to know the story behind a brand. And this can also be translated to the story behind an artist, for instance. Eco-consciousness is also something that makes them think. So they want to, um, they are conscious about this and the music industry could push messages that are related to climate when communicated with young Brazilians. On the other side, uh, Young Americans are more attracted by money, spending over saving, prefer money over time. So, for instance, the lyrics um, of songs that uh, talk about these topics might be more attractive to them, but also in terms of uh, consumptions, they are more short term oriented. If we have a look at the lifestyle, he will, we will have more information about the music that they listen to, especially if we view the data and uh, we select uh, music. Here we will see the electronic music and gospel music are by far uh, the relatively highest uh, scoring genres among uh, young Brazilians. This is interesting because while electronic music is quite popular all around the world, gospel music, which uh, shows a direct link to religion and again community and family, is more popular in Brazil, as we saw in their values. Uh, when it comes to absolute numbers instead, um, for the Americans, pop music and hip hop are uh, the most uh, uh, liked genres, but also relatively more than in uh, Brazil. Um, dancing is something else that in Brazil scores very high. We will see that in uh, arts and crafts, for instance. Um, but also here we could have more indication about the live events that they go to. If we look at brands, and specifically we look at how Spotify, which is the famous streaming uh, service, scores in the two um, countries, we will see that 42% uh, um, of uh, Generation Z in Brazil uses Spotify, while 34% in the US, which are very, two very high numbers. Finally, if we want to know how to communicate with these people, with these young people, we will see that in Brazil, uh, metaphors are very um, persuasive. We saw that they like to know a story behind a brand, behind an artist. So if this story is conveyed in using a very fascinating and illustrative uh, story, this will certainly uh, appeal them. Well, in the US, scarcity, so the fear of missing out, for instance, will play a role. And if the message is funny, that would be even more appealing for them. Uh, what we did was just an example of how to use the tool uh, to connect with the music industry. We looked at the two uh, countries separately, but if we 
were to uh, look at similarities, for instance, to engage with the two countries at the same time, we will have uh, completely different results. So if you have any question or you're uh, still curious to know more about it, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us.